We asked people, what do they picture themselves doing post retirement? I'd love to start a bakery. I'd actually like to pursue my passion in photography. Well, I see myself playing with my grandchildren. See, when I think of retirement, one thing that comes into my mind is to secure my daughter's future. He then gave each one of them a pack of little cookies, symbolizing money they could invest in their post-retirement dreams. We asked them to transfer a proportionate amount of cookies into the cookie jars based on how much they would like to invest on each of their post-retirement dreams. Well, Anu and I have planned to keep some money away for our daughter Priya's education and marriage. And with the rest of the money, we just want to travel the world. Our dream is to cover at least a few places in each continent. We plan to go back to Kerala after retiring. And uh, we hope to do our organic farming there. Yeah, that's been a dream. We plan to buy a nice retirement home and settle. After retirement, I'd like to get into social service completely. We'd really like to open a school for the underprivileged kids. I love to teach. The result of the cookie jar experiment turned out to be quite interesting. The travel and hobbies jars were filled to the brink. However, the jar labeled hell was barely filled, indicating that people tend to ignore hell and focus only on their dreams when it comes to retirement plan. So, what do you think might happen when one is faced with, say, even a small health issue post-retirement? We might take money from our funds allocated for our dreams. Correct. We actually end up using the money we allocated to our dreams to take care of our health. That will leave us short of funds for fulfilling our dreams. Exactly. So if you wish to have a bold future post-retirement, you need to start planning. And while planning, remember to go for both. Dreams and health. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.